Hi everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why you should get a bangle cat. Because the first thing, every time I YouTube bangle cats, the first thing that pops up is beware a bangle cat, don't get a bangle cat. And I myself have this little sweetheart, I'm actually gonna go grab her right now. And I'm gonna tell you reasons why you should get a bangle cat. Everyone meet Kona. She wants to play, so she probably won't be here long, right? But today I'm going to answer questions that you have about bangles, or maybe you want a bangle, and like this is just telling you that you don't. But, um, okay. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you like little clippets of videos I've taken over the past month that I've had her. I'll tell you what it's like if you're thinking about getting one. Can you sit? Can you sit? Good girl. Sit. Good girl. You've probably heard that Bengals love water and that is absolutely true. I didn't believe it until I got one myself. And ever since the first day we got her, she would run in and out of the shower she now will only drink from the sink. She will not drink from her water bowl. So we have to turn the sink on every few hours so she can drink her water for about five minutes. She'll also play with it and paw it around. It is super cute. Um, another thing is that she loves to drink from rivers. Now when she does this, we only let her have a few sips. But in this video, I let her have a little more water because we were camping that weekend and hiking for four days and I didn't want her to get dehydrated because she needed her fresh water. She'll also go into the river. I don't have a video of that because I tried to live in the moment a little while this was happening because it was super cute, but she hasn't yet swam in water, but she will get all four of her paws in the water and kind of play with it. So just waiting for her to go all the way in one day, but she is only four and a half months, so I don't expect her to start swimming the day she sees water. Another great thing about bangles is that they can be easily leash trained. Kona absolutely loves being outside. Like I said earlier, we did go camping for four days and it, it was like we were at home for the four days. Like her attitude was just, it couldn't have been better. And she does love to climb up trees when we are hiking. So we have to be mindful not to let her climb too high or to not let her climb any trees with low branches because her leash will get stuck in the branches and then we won't be able to get her down. So every morning before we go to work, we turn on cat TV for Kona because she needs to have something to do all day, even if it's just for five hours. Another thing I heard about bangles that I didn't think Kona would actually do is play fetch. I didn't even teach this to her. I just started throwing her ball and she would bring it back and drop it right in front of me because she knows if she drops it, I'm going to throw it again. So try getting a little ball like this one. It's a little foily and it makes a crinkly noise. She loves it. I just crinkle it. She'll come it. over. I'll throw it and then she'll bring it back. All right, so let's talk about personal space because with a bangle cat, you probably won't have very much. Kona is always there. She's my biggest fan, always supporting me in whatever I'm doing, even if it's just my makeup. She will play with my eyebrow pencil that I'm trying to apply to my face. She will swat every single item I have on the counter onto the floor and play with it. So, I mean, that is annoying when I'm trying to get ready for work and I'm in a rush. Um, but other than that, I think it's really cute. 
Alright, so this video is coming to an end, but I just want to add in three more videos real quick. Here she's just playing peekaboo. She'll play this behind like cups or she'll be in a box playing peekaboo. It's super cute. She also plays tag and hide and seek and how that works is whenever she is found or tagged, she will roll over on her belly and it's like she's surrendering. So that is just the cutest little thing ever and maybe I'll even make a video to show everyone. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. And then real quick, just here's a little video of her walking in the woods this past weekend. Um, this was like day three of her camping trip and she still had so much energy. So Bengals do have a lot of energy and just keep that in mind. And that wraps up this video for today. If anyone had any questions, feel free to comment them below and I will try to answer them the best I can.